Since the dawn of human civilization, the possibility of life beyond Earth has fascinated us. Over the years, our understanding of the universe has grown, and Mars, the red planet, has emerged as a prime candidate for extraterrestrial life. With its similarities to Earth in terms of size and composition, Mars has been the subject of extensive research and exploration. Ancient riverbeds, subsurface water ice, and organic molecules on Mars suggest that the conditions necessary for life may have existed in the past or could still persist in certain environments. Additionally, the discovery of extremophiles on Earth, organisms capable of surviving in extreme conditions, has fueled speculation about the potential existence of similar life forms on Mars. The upcoming Mars sample return mission and the ambitious plans of space agencies and private companies such as NASA and SpaceX to further explore and potentially colonize Mars highlight the excitement and optimism surrounding the possibility of uncovering evidence of extraterrestrial life on the Red Planet. While many questions remain unanswered, ongoing scientific investigations continue to fuel the hope that Mars may hold secrets to the existence of life beyond Earth. However, an intriguing question has emerged. Why would NASA, the renowned space agency, hide such groundbreaking discoveries? In this video, we will explore the scientific evidence supporting the existence of life on Mars and address the conspiracy theories surrounding NASA's actions. The allure of Mars as a potential habitat for life can be traced back to early human civilizations. Ancient cultures observed the reddish hue of Mars and speculated about its nature and potential inhabitants. In the late 19th century and early 20th centuries, Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli's observations of Canali on Mars ignited widespread speculation about the presence of engineered channels and a dying civilization. Although the notion of canals was later debunked, it laid the foundation for our enduring curiosity about Mars. To understand the potential for life on Mars, we must consider its habitability. Scientists have identified three key ingredients necessary for life liquid water, organic compounds, and energy sources. Although the surface of Mars is inhospitable today, compelling evidence suggests that Mars had a more favorable environment in the past. Studies have revealed the presence of ancient riverbeds, indicating liquid water flowing across the Martian surface. Furthermore, the discovery of hydrated minerals in the subsurface water ice hints at the possibility of water reservoirs beneath the planet's barren surface. These findings raise exciting prospects for Mars' past habitability and the potential for the emergence and sustenance of life. Extremophiles are organisms on Earth that thrive in extreme conditions, such as high temperatures, acidic environments, or extreme pressure. The existence of extremophiles pushes the boundaries of life as we know it, demonstrating living organisms' remarkable adaptability and resilience. Drawing inspiration from these Earth-based extremophiles, scientists speculate that similar forms of life could exist on Mars. The red planet's harsh conditions, including low temperatures, thin atmosphere, and high radiation levels have prompted the search for Martian extremophiles that have uniquely adapted to survive in this challenging environment. Intriguingly, recent studies suggest that the subsurface regions of Mars, shielded from harsh surface conditions, may offer more favorable conditions for the existence of microbial life. The discovery of extremophiles on Mars would revolutionize our understanding of life's tenacity and open up new possibilities for habitable zones beyond Earth. Advancements in technology have enabled us to send numerous missions and rovers to Mars, each adding to our knowledge and understanding of the planet. NASA, along with other space agencies worldwide, has spearheaded these endeavors. Landmark missions such as Mariner, Viking, and more recently, the Curiosity rovers, has provided valuable insight into Mars' geology, climate, and potential for life. Discoveries of ancient riverbeds, evidence of water erosion, and the detection of organic molecules have further fueled the belief that Mars may have harbored or could still support life. Scientists have uncovered the presence of ancient riverbeds on Mars, indicating that liquid water once flowed across its surface. The idea of a planet with flowing rivers instantly raises questions about the possibility of a habitable environment suitable for life. Additionally, the presence of subsurface water ice confirmed by multiple missions suggests the potential existence of protected environments, where microbial life could have thrived. 
Furthermore, the detection of organic molecules, carbon-containing compounds that are the building blocks of life, has been a significant breakthrough. The Curiosity's rover's discovery of complex organic molecules in Martian rocks reinforces the notion that the necessary ingredients for life may be present on the Red Planet. These developments have made scientists believe that there is life on Mars as they play a vital role in expanding our exploration capabilities and enhancing our ability to search for signs of life on Mars. Improved imaging systems, spectroscopy techniques, and sample analysis instruments have revolutionized our ability to study the red planet. Advancements in robotics and autonomous systems have allowed for deploying sophisticated rovers like Curiosity, capable of traversing diverse terrains and conducting detailed investigations. These technological leaps bring us closer to uncovering the truth about life on Mars. While the scientific community continues to explore the possibility of life on Mars, some conspiracy theories suggest that NASA is hiding evidence of extraterrestrial life on the Red Planet. Conspiracy theories surrounding NASA's alleged cover-up of Martian life have gained attention in popular culture and online forums. These theories propose that NASA possesses evidence of past or present life on Mars, but deliberately conceals it from the public. Supporters of these theories often point to anomalies and photographs taken by Mars rovers, such as unusual rock formations or objects that resemble artifacts. They also cite instances of unexplained signals or data gaps in scientific reports as evidence of a hidden truth. Let's explore what might be possible reasons behind NASA trying to hide signs of life on Mars. Preservation of Public Order One perspective is that the potential discovery of extraterrestrial life, particularly on Mars, could have significant societal, religious, and cultural implications. They suggest that NASA might withhold information to prevent widespread panic or societal upheaval. The prospect of confirming life beyond Earth may challenge deeply held beliefs and raise existential questions about humanity's place in the universe. In this view, a controlled release of information allowing time for society to adjust and for potential implications to be considered could be seen as a responsible approach. However, it is important to note that throughout history, scientific discoveries have often reshaped our understanding of the world without causing societal chaos. Instead, such breakthroughs have sparked new avenues of exploration, inspired scientific advancements, and even broadened our perspectives. Number 1. Technological or Biological Hazards Another hypothetical reason for NASA to conceal signs of life on Mars relates to concerns about potential technological or biological hazards. If NASA were to discover microorganisms or other forms of life, there might be concerns about their impact on Earth's biosphere or on future human missions to Mars. It's conceivable that NASA would carefully consider the risks associated with introducing Martian life forms to Earth or the potential effects on human health and safety. In such a scenario, concealing information about Martian life could be seen as a precautionary measure to ensure the preservation of our planet and the safety of future space exploration efforts. This approach would allow scientists to thoroughly assess and develop appropriate containment protocols, prevent contamination, and safeguard both Earth and Mars. Number 2. International Collaboration Given the global interests in Mars exploration, some theorists suggest that international collaborations or agreements between space agencies may include provisions to limit the disclosure of certain information. Geopolitical or strategic considerations, they argue, could lead to the selective sharing of data related to Martian life. The existence of such agreements would imply that space agencies from various countries are partaking in a coordinated effort to control the narrative and restrict access to crucial findings. However, the scientific community is founded on principles of open collaboration, transparency, and the free exchange of knowledge. The international nature of space exploration with contributions from scientists, researchers, and engineers from different countries makes it highly unlikely for such agreements to exist or effectively suppress significant scientific findings. The scientific community's commitment to the pursuit of knowledge and the advancement of humanity generally outweighs geopolitical considerations in matters of scientific discovery. Number 3. Scientific Protocol and Verification in the pursuit of robust scientific evidence, it is plausible that NASA could withhold information until it can be fully verified and confirmed by multiple independent studies. This cautious approach could be seen as a means to avoid premature announcements or false positives. 
ensuring that any claims of Martian life are backed by rigorous scientific scrutiny, by subjecting findings to thorough analysis, replication, and peer review. NASA can maintain the integrity of scientific research and prevent premature conclusions that could later be disproven. While this verification process takes time, it serves as a critical safeguard against scientific errors, misinterpretations, or misrepresentations. However, the scientific community operates on principles of peer review and transparency. Multiple researchers and institutions contribute to Mars missions and the analysis of data, making it highly unlikely for evidence of Martian life to be concealed without the knowledge of numerous scientists worldwide. Ultimately, the collective pursuit of knowledge and the desire for scientific advancement outweigh any potential motivations for suppression. Number 4. Scientific Advancement and Finding there is also an argument that NASA might hide evidence of life on Mars to secure continued funding for its missions. Some people argue that the excitement surrounding the possibility of Martian life generates public interest and support, leading to increased funding for space exploration programs. By maintaining a level of intrigue and uncertainty, the theory suggests that NASA can continue to secure the necessary resources to sustain its operations. However, it is important to note that scientific advancements and discoveries in space exploration, including the potential for life on Mars, serve as a catalyst for scientific progress and inspire future generations of scientists and engineers. Pursuing knowledge and understanding of our universe is an intrinsic motivation for scientific exploration, and funding is typically driven by scientific merit, exploration goals, and public interest rather than the need for secrecy. Number 5. Hiding Information from Competitors One possible reason is that NASA might be keeping competitors like Elon Musk at length in terms of sharing information about potential life on Mars. Scientific endeavors require careful methodology, extensive research, and rigorous analysis to ensure accurate and reliable results. The process of confirming the existence of extraterrestrial life, particularly on a planet like Mars, requires thorough investigation and verification. Hence, NASA doesn't want to share its hard-earned discoveries with other space agencies. Competitors like Elon Musk and his company SpaceX are heavily invested in Mars exploration and colonization. While private companies can bring valuable innovation and resources to the space industry, their primary motivations often revolve around commercial interests and technological advancements. This is in contrast to the primary focus of government space agencies such as NASA, which prioritize scientific discovery and understanding. Elon Musk, the co-founder and CEO of SpaceX, has expressed his thoughts on the possibility of life on Mars in various interviews and public statements. While he has not explicitly confirmed the existence of life on the planet, he has expressed his optimism and openness to the idea. Musk has often highlighted the need for human colonization on Mars as a multiplanetary species. In his vision, he sees Mars as a potential future home for humanity which implies the presence of habitable conditions for sustaining human life. He believes that making Mars habitable and establishing a self-sustaining colony is of paramount importance for the long-term survival of our species. He also suggested nuking the planet to break the frozen layers of ice, which could pose a serious threat to Mars's mission. In terms of the possibility of existing life on Mars, Musk has stated that it is a subject that should be thoroughly investigated. He acknowledges the potential for microbial life or remnants of past life on the planet, and he supports scientific exploration to uncover such evidence. He has also expressed his excitement about the potential discovery of life, stating that it would be a game changer and a profound moment in human history. Unlocking the mysteries of Martian life requires an in-depth analysis of samples collected directly from the Red Planet. The Mars Sample Return Mission, a collaborative endeavor between NASA and the European Space Agency starting in 2026, aims to collect Martian samples and transport them back to Earth for detailed examination. The analysis of these samples conducted in sophisticated laboratories on our home planet holds tremendous potential for uncovering evidence of past or present life on Mars. By scrutinizing the composition of Martian rocks, minerals, and sediments, scientists hope to identify organic compounds, isotopic signatures, and potential biosignatures that could provide concrete proof of Martian life. The success of the Mars Sample Return mission would be a game-changer, significantly strengthening the scientific case for existence of life beyond Earth. 
However, it is not an easy task. The complexity of the MSR mission stems from the numerous technical challenges involved in the retrieval, containment, and transportation of Martian samples. The mission will be conducted in multiple stages, each with its specific objectives and requirements. The first stage involves the identification and selection of a suitable landing site on Mars, where the samples are most likely to yield the most valuable scientific data. This decision-making process relies on data gathered from previous Mars missions, such as the Mars rovers, orbiters, and landers, to assess the geological and environmental conditions of potential landing sites. Once the landing site is determined, a rover will be deployed to collect samples from the Martian surface. This rover, equipped with advanced scientific instruments, will carefully collect and cache the samples in a highly controlled manner to preserve their integrity. The samples will be sealed in specially designed containers that maintain their pristine condition, protecting them from contamination during the return journey. In the second stage, an ascent vehicle known as the Mars Ascent Vehicle, or MAV, will be deployed to retrieve the sample containers left by the rover. The MAV will rendezvous with an orbiter, which will serve as a communication relay and a crucial component in the sample return process. The orbiter will capture these samples and transfer them into a return vehicle, ensuring their safe storage for the journey back to Earth. The third and final stage involves the Earth Return Orbiter, or ERO, which will carry the Martian samples back to our planet. This phase presents significant challenges, including the precise trajectory calculations, the re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, and the safe landing and retrieval of the sample canister. Once the samples are safely recovered, they will be transported to specialized laboratories for detailed analysis by scientists worldwide. The Mars Sample Return Mission holds great promise for advancing our understanding of Mars and its potential for harboring life. By bringing back pristine samples, scientists will assess materials that have not been subject to the harsh Martian environment, allowing for a more comprehensive analysis of the geological, chemical, and biological composition. These samples may contain traces of past life or provide crucial clues about Mars's habitability, its history of water, and the potential for the existence of microbial life. The success of the Mars Sample Return Mission will deepen our knowledge of Mars and pave the way for future human exploration and colonization. The data and insights obtained from the return samples will inform the design of future Mars missions, including the development of life support systems, resource utilization technologies, and the mitigation of potential hazards. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you liked it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We also appreciate your feedback, so don't hesitate to express your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. We'll be back with another amazing video soon. Peace out.